Hi there, live from livelycesar.com. Today is the 8th of April 2014 at 1.43 in the afternoon. Well, um, you know, at WrestleMania 30 this time, they had one of the most shocking moments ever. Undertaker, who, uh, you know, had an amazing winning streak of almost how many wins was that? I think almost 20 winning streaks ultimately lost for the first time. Now, Mark Calloway, is, as his name is, uh, the question is, uh, why did uh, WWE allow this to happen? Um, was it something that uh, should have happened, should have happened? This is what I have to say. Now, The Undertaker, Mark Calloway, has been in the wrestling business for over 25 years. Now, you need to understand that, uh, see, the very simple fact that, you know, these stars, uh, they, they fight almost every third day. They're always traveling. They're always fighting. And even though these fights are scripted, these fights down, <laughs> down. That's my dog scratching my leg. Now, even though these fights are scripted, even though they plan out, okay, you're going to win this match. Uh, they, they have this creative setting where they decide, okay, you will win this match. This is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to do. And this is going to be the twist in the match. And then obviously, uh, they decide who's the winner. Now, you might say that, no, wrestling is not scripted. It's very real. The blood is real. The falling down is real. Yes. Those aspects are real. The falling down is real. Breaking of, uh, you know, their bones and uh, uh, all that stuff is real. The blood also is real. But they plan it out how they're going to cut it and how they're actually going to execute it. Because you need to understand this. If you physically hit someone with the impact that these guys uh, seem to be hitting, you cannot fight the next day. And just imagine, you're the employees of the same company. Imagine beating yourself uh, each other every single day for you, you know years and years it doesn't work that way try this ask someone to give you a punch on the face okay hit you five six times you would not be able to get up these guys are fighting for literally 45 minutes and for those of you who still say that it is real the fight is real they don't plan out who's the winner you need to understand this after the guy wins there is music that comes up the lights change and uh, they have the signature moment now you need to coordinate with the audio uh, audio visual uh, team. You need to coordinate with the guys who are at the back end. Uh, they need to know. Uh, there is a director. There is a stage manager. They say, okay, on the queue. One, two, three. Put the music on. So everything is scripted. Okay, don't think that they just come and bang each other's head. It's a business. It's an entertainment business. That is why WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. So now, for Mark Calloway to lose or the Undertaker to lose his title. Uh, this is my assumption. Number one is Mark Calloway has been in the business for nearly 25 years. Okay, nearly 25 years. And obviously, there is wear and tear. Okay, you need to understand that for the amount that he has taken the beatings and the amount that he has been, I think he has crossed his prime. Now his body can no longer handle the abuse. The second thing you need to know is uh, these superstars take steroids. They take steroids because obviously, you take steroids not only to get strength, not only to look good, but also to heal your body. After you have a workout in the gym, your body gets sore. And when you're young, in your 20s, you can you know, do exercise uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and next day you can repeat it. However, when you cross 30, 35, you do an exercise in the gym, let's say in the morning, a hardcore workout. The next day, that body part would be aching, would be screaming in pain and agony, unless and until you heal yourself. And yes, with the hammering of joints, you need to heal. So Mark Alvey has taken all these steroids all these uh, many years. Now it shows. That is why if you look at his face, Undertaker from before and now, his face has become bigger. His jaw has become bigger. His nose has become bigger. His face is sagging. That is the impact of taking steroids, especially growth hormone. So Mark Calloway is also, you know, age is caught up with him. Um, the third one, what you need to understand is, uh, I, I, I really suppose that uh, Mark knows that uh, now he has to spend, you know, more time with his family. Uh, he has achieved everything that, that has to be achieved in the wrestling business and he doesn't need to achieve anything more. So I just feel now he doesn't want to be the headliner where everyone comes and beats him. He wants to take, uh, you know, a few days off. He wants to uh, be, you know, no longer be on the spotlight. And obviously the next champion who's there has to take the responsibility on his shoulders to generate more revenue. So Undertaker is to generate a lot of revenue. Now he doesn't want the responsibility. So obviously he, he would give it to the best person who he would think would be best suited for this. And who else than Brock Lesnar, who is a young lion? I mean, he's so massive, he's so huge, he's so muscular. So obviously, uh, The Undertaker would have agreed that I would lose to someone who is formidable, not someone like uh, 
Brian or uh, someone uh, like Skinny, like The Edge or, you know, you know, someone who's really worthwhile. And another thing, if you have to look at the photographs, if you actually look at The Undertaker lying down, his arms are strong, his whole body strong. So I don't think his body is responding the way it used to. And uh, you need to understand this. See, the wrestling business is a business. Um, most of the stars who had come from WCW, that is like uh, guys like Booker T, uh, they thought that they would be at the pinnacle of the game. Okay, but they joined WWE and realized that WWE didn't want them to be at the pinnacle of the game. They just wanted them to be stars and generate revenue because Vince McMahon, the man who is behind WWE, the brains behind it, he doesn't care about personal brands like uh, The Undertaker or Hitman Bret Hart or Hulk Hogan. He cares only about WWE as a corporate brand, as a complete brand. So I'm sure he also was involved in the process of deciding whether Mark Calloway should or shouldn't step down. And uh, who should get the title? Because uh, just to give you proof of that, if you actually see videos of Bill Goldberg and Sting, the reason why they didn't join WWE or they didn't continue, uh, Sting in his uh, 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 uncensored interviews said very clearly when Booker T left WCW and joined WWE, the reason why he, uh, you know, the reason why uh, he didn't, uh, you know, he didn't want to join, Sting didn't want to join is because when Booker T came in, uh, came in during a match for the first time as a surprise. Uh, it seems Triple H took the microphone and asked him, and who the hell are you? So obviously that was indirectly pointing out that you WCW stars are nothing, nobody. We don't know you. Only if you're a WWE star, you're known. So Sting decided not to uh, affect his legacy and not to destroy it. So he decided not to join. And even if you check out uh, the videos by Lex Luger, who is today a Bible thumping preacher, uh, he also says that uh, Vince McMahon is not interested in any personal brand but himself and his business, which is obviously right. And that is why maybe Bill Goldberg uh, quit WWE because he was asked to do a lot of things which he was not comfortable, like, you know, hugging women, groping women, being this badass. And uh, Bill Goldberg is also a spiritual guy. He loves children and he didn't want to give children a bad example. Um, you know, so so this this whole thing of Mark Haraway losing has been planned has been agreed upon by uh, Mark Calloway and by the WWE. It wouldn't have happened otherwise. And I think, uh, you know, it's it's a sad moment. It's really a sad moment because now we see The Undertaker moving on and we see new blood coming. So it's the end of a generation. So just like Ric Flair had to finally uh, retire from WWE, I see Mark Calloway very soon retiring from WWE because, you know, his time is up. His time is really up. So these are my views as to why Undertaker lost the WrestleMania 30 and why you know, Brock Lesnar has taken on that, uh, you know, that mantle. So this is what I think. Let me know what you think because I'm always open to opinions and you're going to fight, you bad words, whatever shit you want to say. Go ahead and say, I don't give a damn. Live from LiveMasito.com. Got any views, opinions, ideas? Let me know. Goodbye for now.